And welcome back to the Anime Den. And this time around we've got, of course, the Harui Suzumiya 1 to 7 scale Gothic Lolita. Before we get started, we should probably mention this thing was on pre-order for like ever. Yeah, it's actually originally came up on pre-order back in about November 2000 and, oh, 2011. So they didn't arrive till April 2013. So you do the math. But you know what? It was worth every second of it. I mean, the first thing is, obviously, it's very typical Griffin Enterprises sort of box. It's got the nice big windowed front. It's got the nice image of Harui Suzumiya, the statue itself at the bottom. It's got, it's got the nice writing. But one thing they have done, because normally they just might put in a very generic plaid box, is they've actually got the Harui Suzumiya logo running up and down the sides of the boxes. So it, it is had some thought put into it. And, of course, it's got the nice holographic Kotakawa sticker down the front there to show that it is, of course, licensed. Because we come around the side, and this, this is pretty much typical of the Griffin Enterprise. So you have another windowed side there just to show you through to the side of the statue. Up the top, I don't know if you can see it, it's, of course, got the 1 to 7 scale PVC statue. And again, down the bottom, it's just got the same image of Harui Suzumiya that they had on the front. And in English, it's actually got Gothic Lolita version, which on the front it actually had it in Japanese. Because we come around the back and we get a bit more of an overview of the statue in photo form. We have, of course, a nice little silhouette version there. We, of course, have who is actually sculpted by, of course, being Masahiro Yamamoto. Again, we have the Japanese warning on it to obviously things you can and shouldn't do with it. Of course, Griffin Enterprises, ages 15 and up. Of course, warning choking has a small parts for children, so don't feed it to your kids under the age of three years old. And of course, it even has a price. It was 7,500 yen. Of course, it's a little bit more than that in Australia and probably the same in America. It even has a part number, SHO1, so the actual run number. And they're made in China. I mean, everything's made in China now. But of course, it keeps that nice Harui motif going. And when we come around to the other side again, it's got that nice windowed box. It's got the same image again of Harui down the bottom. And again, it's got the 1 7 scale PVC on it. Because when we go to the top, it's pretty much a replication again. It's got the windowed part with, of course, the Harui Suzumiya in Japanese on it. Again, it has Harui there. Of course, it has the price and the actual part number. And the bottom will, of course, generally be just a set of instructions on what you need to do. And these ones are actually printed in English, and I've got them upside down. So if you're actually trying to read them, you're probably having a hell of a time. And of course it just says, you know, don't feed them to your kids because they will choke on them. You know, what it's made out of Because it's a PVC statue. So, surprisingly enough, I've got someone here who desperately wanted to open it more than I did. So I'm going to let her just pop it out of the top of the box. Dad, what are you feeding me, Now, with her out of the box, you can actually just quickly see inside the box. It's got the nice silhouette of Harui Suzumiya in the background, and it's, of course, got, again, the Harui Suzumiya logo and what it actually was. So that was hidden by the statue before, and we'll just get this box out of the way. So Harui comes in a hard pack. I might just stand up this. So obviously she comes in the nice PVC plastic hard pack. So we'll just pop her out and have a look-see. plastic hard case out of the way and again typical wall griffin statues they generally come wrapped in a bit of plastic to make sure that they're nice and safe There we have Harumi out of the box. So we'll just go for a quick zip around and have a look. She's of course one to seven scale. She's about 10 inches tall. 
So of course if you can actually have a quick look, we'll just try and get ourselves in there and have a bit of a pan in, see if we can do it. Of course all the Griffin Enterprise statues tend to have this nice little sort of metal plaque on the front which of course tells you what it is. So obviously it's Harui Suzumiya. It should have a little bit of a, let's see if I can pick it up and have a bit of a quick look. A bit of a better look. I'll pull off there, so it's just say it's a Gothic Lear version, of course, here it's sculpted by. And of course, it's all this sort of nice oh, pan back out a bit. Uh. Of course, you can get a bit of a better look now, hopefully. Might have to take it back there and pan in. My lighting is not the best tonight. Because it's this nice sort of very, like the dress is actually very hard rubber. It's all very PVC and all these are very, they feel a little bit brittle, the, the tassels hanging off it. But, you know, they've got a bit of play in it. And of course, the, the dress is very well put together. And obviously, it's got the knee-high socks. That, again, the 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 ties there feel they're rubber but they are feel a little bit brittle and that's all a single piece molding one of the interesting parts is most of the other griffin enterprise statues actually can detach from the base but this one feels like it can't we just keep chasing it around and of course again there's sort of a it feels you know there's a bit of plain i wouldn't be moving these too much all these sort of tassels and ribbons and that because i think they'd probably break that, that goes for all, pretty much all of this statue because it's a very cool statue. It's a very nice statue actually. And it's the second one that Griffins have done in the Gothic Lolita Huri Suzumiya range. So it's a very cool statue. And as I said, it's all plastic, it's all PVC. All very nice, all very cool looking. Um, all very, you know, the whole dress obviously black and white. I don't know how the light in here is showing. It's got these beautiful red shoes on though. Have a look at the shoes. So they've got those sort of red shoes. But all in all, very nice. It's a very cool statue. So it was well worth the wait. It was a very long wait, but well worth it. Nothing comes off. It's all a single piece. It's, all, you know, it's not a removable pieces. And certainly, I don't even think she even detaches from the base. So that's it. That's the Haruri Suzumiya 1 to 7 scale Gothic Lolita version by Griffin Enterprises. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll um, remember to rate, subscribe, leave notes, comments, whatever, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.